Hi! So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a Java web server on your Windows machine and you can run it as a web server to communicate with any kind of uh, application. In my case, I'm going to connect it to my ESP8266. If you have watched my other video, I was going to talk about, I was talking about um, ESP8266 connecting to Bitcoin web server. It was Kendrick's code. Uh, it was updating and showing the latest prices for dollar and pound on uh, Nokia 5110 LCD. This is going to be much more um, it's going to give you much more uh, available options because you can show basically anything. Uh, you can send any kind of data, you can filter the uh, data as you like, you can uh, design them on your screen as you like. I'm going to put the code for the web server and also for the ESP8266 code, uh, both on the video, they are going to be a link uh, on the same YouTube video. So hopefully you guys can get them, change it as you like, and enjoy it. So this is very simple. I'm just going to run it. It is going to uh, receive the data. This is going to be, this is being sent by my ESP8266, which I have connected to power outlet. Let me get closer so we can see the display and asking you to please like and subscribe. You can send any kind of data. Where is this data, is, uh, data coming from? If you take a look at my code over here, here it is. This is my respond. It's a string. It's a respond I'm sending back to the um, module. It's going to look for the characters that um, basically the words that I'm uh, sending back in my response. First, looking for where the board is going to be started. Uh, my text, uh, which is a like response, the first thing after my text, first thing after other text, which is subscribe. Uh, these two are the sending back answers. When is that going to look for these two words? It's very easy. This is my Arduino code. Uh, in my I Arduino IDE, which I uploaded and executed for my ESP8266. So here it is. Root is going to be other text. I'm going to put that in area of characters. That area of characters is going to be changed to a screen uh, to a string, and I'm going to show that. It's this part of the code. Uh, if you have any question, uh, there's a lot in this code going on. Uh, if you have any question about any part of that, just leave me a comment. Uh, I would definitely answer that. Nothing is complicated about the code. It's just a lot that I'm not going to talk about that. If you have any question, if any part of that is confusing, uh, let me know. I would be happy to describe it more. The main code is, again, uh, coded by Kendrick, Kendrick Tabby, and I just made the change uh, to make it available to work in this code. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and you have a nice time.